Good morning, beautiful people. It's Brian back with another Viddy from the Biddy. In today's video, I can't wait to introduce you to this beautiful implement, the Rinaldi Power Hero. It's the red cube on the back of Bessie, our BCS 853, and it is stirring the soil and tamping that surface into a beautiful finished prep bed ready for our JP1 Jang Cedar to cut through like butter. In today's video, I will go over some pros, some cons, the inner workings of the implement, as well as doing a little experiment on a lawn renovation project we have going here at the farm. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please consider joining our small farm fam by hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much. And we've always dreamed of planting a lawn out here and we're gonna do a drought tolerant mix ground cover. It comes out to be a pollinator friendly, low water zone. But first we had to prep this area and I wanted to try the power harrow, which gives the seeds a good ground contact. I have it tipped up on its side so you can see the inner workings and how it actually stirs the soil and a couple downfalls that I feel get in the way sometimes of its effectiveness. Okay, so the power harrow, instead of tilling the soil, it stirs the soil with these tines. And let me just show you how they work. So they go around and you can set them to stir the soil as deep or as shallow as you want, anywhere from zero to six inches to adjust just the tine depth there's a small crank back here and the roller lowers the tines into the soil whatever depth you want the PTO turns this sprocket here which turns the tines pushing any rocks out to the sides it's a really effective tool to give yourself a nice seed bed so this little drum is the last thing that touches the soil. After you get it stirred, this kind of packs behind. The problem is that I found is it fills up with whatever you're doing, especially if you have any clay content in your soil. To get it cleaned out, I found the easiest way is to tip the whole implement on its side and spray it with water. that I've made a swamp out of my scene. Let's hook the implement back on to Bessie and take another couple passes over here. mix we're using it's actually called an eco lawn and the planting instructions for the eco lawn so that's pro time lawn seed portland oregon this is from 15 so this is five-year-old seed we've been dreaming about it for five years finally today we're gonna do it Okay, we are back at the power harrow zone. 
and I would love to say that this is the seed we planted, but I don't think it is. I think it's the little bits of native stuff that the power harrow didn't quite chew up enough. We top dressed this whole zone with goat manure and broadcast seeded that eco lawn mix. Fleur de lawn, it was called a French name. We are watering it in hopes that some of these seeds are going to germinate in these next warm days, but a lot of what's out here is not what we had asked for. We've also done a massive sheet mulch, so cardboard. This whole zone through here is cardboarded and chipped with cottonwood chips. I want to just keep the weeds down in this area. I don't want to have to pull a mower or a weed whacker out ever again in this zone, and I think that will help achieve that goal. We are prepping the outside garden here by the hoop house, getting it ready for seeds. This is what the power harrow is designed for. Oftentimes I've found that with this power harrow and BCS combo, it really wants to walk off of the row. And our rows may be a little less than 30 inches and that could be the issue that the wheels are close to the edge and it wants to rock either side. So what I've done is just gone through a dry run and you can see these little tire marks here. It gives it a better place to grip. And so these two far beds, I've actually engaged the harrow and, and prepped these beds. So this is a finished product right here, ready for the cedar. Another tip, you always have to watch this wheel, this tamping wheel or whatever you call it, finishing wheel. It always gets jammed up for some reason. A rock will get in between here. I have this adjusted all the way out, so it shouldn't be getting jammed, but it does. And if you get jammed, this is what happens right here. So that wheel jammed up and then it starts pulling and it kind of wrecks your nice prepped bed. So you just always, I'm always looking at that wheel, making sure it's spinning. And luckily I caught it, you know, I saw it stop here and I stopped the machine here, but you already lose a little bit of your prepped bed. So anyway, a little trick of the trade there. There's Leah over there in the asparagus. You see her way over? Let me squish her. Oh, sorry, honey. I squished you. She was out here. She did the meadow creature in every one of these rows for today's calisthenics. And I screened cow manure for my calisthenics farm workout 2020. think do you like the Rinaldi power harrow it is heavy it's difficult to use it's quite a dance when you're guiding this machine you, you're pulling and pushing and it is a lot of work to prep these beds with this I think you know it could be the the width of the beds aren't quite as wide as this particular machine would like we do soften everything up pretty good with a meadow creature broad fork before we do this so that could be an issue the soil the softness in the soil and the dualies um, usually would give you more grip but in this case one of these is usually hanging off so it, it maybe adds a little more weight than necessary so there's a few things i could change to make it easier but we do use this tool every year right before we put our seeds in and it's a wonderful tool for that. So I do, I do love this tool and I do recommend it for anyone looking for a nice finished bed product. Thanks for joining Bessie and I at BCF. It was so great having you. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and consider subscribing to join our little farm fam and help this farm grow. Thanks again. Catch you on the next one. Shaka! Thank you.